we're pulling in on a set of docks and everybody knows I'm crazy about fishing docks and skipping jigs, but it's not the only way I like to fish docks. The technique that's been really hot here lately and actually just had a big part of winning the Classic, we're throwing an eco rig and this is the new VMC hook and it's got the weed guard on it. This is a number two in size, but it really does help it around these docks, especially big community docks where there's poles and cables and everything in the way. I take the VMC nail weight. This is a zoom flute stick. I just pinch the tail off of it, come right back in the head of it, put my nail weight in there, push it right in, and you can see they have two different versions. So I'm gonna go with a smaller version with a slower fall. And really to me, <clears throat> when the bite is tough, this is a hard one to beat right here. Perfect setup for me, this is a 610 spinning rod, a quantum spinning rod. I've got 10 pound braid on and I just tied a little eight pound leader to it. It's a little bit of a risk because I'm throwing around heavy cover, but sometimes you just gotta get bit. I kind of shake the slack, pop it back up off the bottom, let it fall. And really you watch your line a bunch on this technique. They'll pick that bait up as it starts drifting down. But with the hook and it being so weedless, as you get into these dock area where there's more brush and pontoons and you're really trying to skip in a harder area, it's so much better than just a straight open hook wacky worm and hang up as much. I think the Nico rig is really taking a, a lot away from drop shot. You see more and more guys do this technique, whether it's vertical fishing, structure fishing, because it's a different, whole different look, the way the worm's rig wacky and the way it falls. You have the versatility of docks, but the hook really opens it up. Oh, there's one right there. Not a big one, but I got a bite. And sometimes, like in tournaments when we're at, if it's bites, you just gotta get bit. You know, you get a few bites, get your wheels up under you, and that's exactly what it offers. The wheat guard just, I mean, it's just right at the top of the mouth. And I'm a man who believes in getting bit. A man who can't get bit can't win. I don't care how good you are, if you don't get any bites, you don't catch them. I mean, really, you don't have to have a, the, the three or $400 ultimate sensitive spinning rod, or you don't have to have the, the highest tech equipment out there. It's just, you can take a basic spinning reel, a basic six foot six, seven foot rod, doesn't matter. It's a size 30 spinning reel, spool you on some braid, tie your red Phillips knot from the braid to the fluorocarbon leader. Like I said, go seven or eight foot long. You got your O-ring on there. You got your little VMC hook, you got your nail weight. It's off to the races. With this technique, it's, it's one of the easiest techniques, the way the bait's rigged, the way it slides across the water. It is by far one of the fastest and quickest ways to learn to skip docks. You don't have to be the best caster on the lake to be able to make a great cast with this because it simply just slides so easy. You just kind of point it in the direction and let it go, and you can't fish it wrong. I mean, you can shake it and stop it, let it sit. It's working for you, baby, it's working. I think this, this technique, though, goes from whether you're just getting into it I mean, if you're a guy that's got two hours after work and you're gonna run down to the city park, you throw your spinning rod in your car, you can walk around the bank, you're super effective. If they're on bed, you can catch them. If they're offshore, you can catch them. It's a great way to introduce kids to fishing because if you, you take your child out and you rig them this system up, they're pretty weedless. So they, you're not gonna work you over as much and it's gonna give them a better chance to catch fish. So it's funny that it's one of those techniques that from a beginner to Jordan Lee at the Classic, people are throwing it and being successful with it.